going to the beach, but I wanted to play these messages so that I can erase them. Let's see right here. It says Woodstock. I've tried to get passes and passes and passes, but this is what this chick had to say. Hi, I'm calling from the Hilly Center Company to confirm your accreditation for Woodstock 99. You've been accredited for working press passes for the event. You will need you to email your FedEx shipper number, if you have one, along with the name of the journalist and the number of cars you wish to bring to the event, along with a physical address. Your credentials will be shipped to you with all other pertinent press information. If you do not have a FedEx shipper number, you must email an address, a physical address, to which we will mail you your credential pickup information. Our email address is media at woodstock.com. Our information must be received by Tuesday, July 6th. Actually, no phone calls will be accepted. Any questions must be emailed to media at woodstock.com. Have a great weekend. Thank you. This was a couple days later they called me back. Thank you, this is Ann Cross from Chile Summer Company to control your passes here at Market for Woodstock. If you haven't done so already, please email us at media at woodstock.com, a FedEx number and an address where we can send you the credentials to. If you've already done this, disregard this notice. Uh, I have an old copy and today is the deadline, so I just want to make sure that everybody is in order and they have all the information. And thank you. Bye. Backstage Woodstock, motherfucker. The Woodstock video. So what happened this morning? Well, first of all, I got up early, waited for Steve about 45 minutes, and got ready to go. I was ready to go at 7.30. And anyway, we dropped my car from my mom so she could use it. And then we headed over to Steve's dad's. Although, on the way, the truck broke down. My truck broke down. Good truck that it is. On this street. And then it broke down again on Oakland Street. Road. Road. So then I had to go to a neighbor's I called my dad and he picked us up. Yeah, I couldn't use my cell phone since it was stolen. Thanks to me. And then we get to the airport. Um, we were some heavy traffic along the way. And uh, once we got, we got off here, at the wrong we got off concourse. At term of concourse A instead of concourse C. And then, so we decided to cart our, our luggage up through to concourse C, through the airport. Well, we couldn't get through because Stephen packed a huge box. Yeah, we'll see here. We'll see. You won't sleep in a tent then. We've got that huge box. Yes, I will. No, you won't. I'll carry it with my bags. So anyway, I walked through the airport and Steve walked through. Walked out. I ran down and lost the trip. Trip the bags over like 15 times, but now, now we're, we're here, here way ahead of time. Six. We're waiting for our flight to come in. The next thing I see is Gary with a plane crashing. We 
Traditionally, the burial at sea is a fairly short ceremony. On board the USS Rico, if you're looking at it in the distance, there are two main chaplains and a Catholic priest. And as we've been saying, members of the Kennedy and the Set families, and certainly uh, there will be blessings. Uh, there will be some traditional ceremonies involving a free flag that will go on board, a free breach as well. Uh, but we don't know if the Kennedy family are planning to uh, Certainly what we do know is that a couple of days ago, they began calling the family friends uh, who will be getting sort of a Time to party. Go see Gary. Cousin! What's up, brother? You ready to fucking go? Let's go. Where's Marie? Cousin. Lagging. Again? Good. 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 Here we are, we just spent $70. Put the rest of Rolling Rock in there. And some ice. Get some ice, G-Dog. Oh yeah! That's like having one beer. Watch you don't flush that thing. You breath that thing breaks your fuck. Dog. Still looking for that 33, right? Yeah. How far is it from 34? Fast. Here, dude, check this out. Turn this on. You got it. Worth first of all. All right, the Stamos Aki. That's funny. The Rock and Roll Station, which is right here. Marie's my navigator. She's eating and reading about JFK Jr. Oh yeah. Harry's the navigator and the filmer. Oh yeah, I'm every Then you just push that red button and it stops it. Can you dig it? Kind of like this. Me. Gary Ralph. Ralph is your nickname. I throw up when I'm sober. Can't be that. Oh, dude, we're going swimming. Water. Nice and blue. Uh, we went and got my passes. We went and got our passes and I got these guys passes too. Because I'm, I'm always me, 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 me. I don't think about anybody but myself. But I got my authentic press media pass, and I went to boxes, etc., mailboxes, etc. I got it for Steven this morning, but he didn't need it. And uh, check out that chick's natty dreads. That is natty. And then I'm a nice guy. I got them passes made. So hopefully we'll all get backstage and hang out. Um, I paid eight dollars for that. We paid seventy-two dollars at the food store. For beer, uh, we got beer. Beer was seventy-two dollars. How much was it, was it at Kmart? It was was cool. beer and water. And at Kmart was like fifty, forty-eight dollars was at Kmart. And I spent twelve at Kmart. But I'm saving my receipts later. Next thing you'll see is the gate or the media. It's those guys that they want to ride, and as soon as they put the beer in the car, we'll take off.
Fuck. Grab that thing, dude. Did you tell me where the media, the media, media pass? Right that way. Thanks. Well, I got like a hand on it. Watch out for this jerk. It's not know what he's doing. Can you pull it in? Check out that airplane. Well, it's wild. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so too. You gotta set the tent up, honey. You can't drink a beer yet. I can set a tent up and drink this a beer. This is where we're sit time. camping underneath a uh, pine tree here. And then this is the media. All this is the media. This media tent. Yeah, that's your job. Well, we're gonna hang out, set up camp. Let is concerned about the heat and about uh, the question that was just asked about the heat, the exhaustion, and everything. effects on people. So we are taking every opportunity to remind people to uh, bring hats, to wear their hats, and not to spend all their time in the sun, and to wear appropriate sunblock, and to drink plenty of Steve fluid. Steve Terry reporting live from water. Woodstock 99. We're at the uh, we first official press conference at 5 o'clock. It's Michael Lang up Fortunately, there. because of all the planning and all the work that everyone has done, that is the biggest concern at this point. The traffic seems to be going very well, and we have experienced some delays, but, we, but they're not... So everything else seems to be going along to, to date very, very well. Again, I can answer questions or else try to over the next Boo! Yes. No, we are, uh, this system is hooked into a very, very good reservoir system for the city of Rome that is very adequate for any needs. Okay, then I would like to turn over the microphone at this time to Oneida County Sheriff Dan Middaw. Thank you all. Thank you very much and welcome to Oneida County. Um, our first, since we've deployed our people within the first 24 hours, has been uh, pretty much uneventful. Uh, we haven't had that many incidents. And we have had reports, though, of a lot of rumors coming in. I know that the Woodstock personnel have had some, our department along with state police and other people have heard various rumors about things that have taken place. Uh, what we would like to caution the public is don't believe everything that you hear. Uh, a lot of times events this size ha have a tendency to generate rumors and people tend to believe what they hear. Uh, just to give you an example, they supposedly looted one of the local grocery stores, which was unfounded. Uh, they reported that there was a stabbing, which was unfounded. Cool. So again, I would like to caution the general public to not believe all the rumors they hear. Uh, believe me, if something happens, um, a, a, you know, an incident uh, of a serious nature, whatever it may be, it will be reported by law, you know, law enforcement to the news media. So, with that, I again, just, you know, caution the public to uh, not believe all the rumors they hear. Any questions? Not, like I said, it's been uneventful the first 24 hours. Anything else? Thank you. Uh, I have been corrected. Our press updates are these uh, little gatherings that we'll all learn to love with each other. We'll be at uh, 1030 and 4, not 430, 1030 and 4. Um, I want to say uh, on behalf of the producers and the uh, 10,000 plus people that are working here, everybody's put a lot of work. It's not just Michael and uh, Ozzy and myself. Uh, there are about 10,000 or more people that have been here, some for months, um, most working this week around the clock to put this incredible site together and it couldn't have been done without all of their help and out without the cooperation of the county and the town of Rome, the uh, city of Rome and, and, uh, and the state police. So uh, we'd like to thank them. We'd like to thank you for getting uh, the information out. Uh, there's some minor activities that are going on today to uh, keep everybody uh, interested and 
and uh, having a good time. We're hoping that the flow of traffic will continue to be uh, modest as it is now. Uh, and uh, the festival will officially kick off, as you all know, tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock with James Brown. Just uh, one comment or two. I took a, a helicopter flight around the area about an hour and a half ago, and the roads are all very clear. There are, there's some congestion in a few spots, but basically traffic is flowing in very nicely. The site is filling up, parking very nicely. I think we have about 35,000 kids on site right now, um, mostly in the West Venue. There's some things going on, some entertainment. The sports park is open. All the vendors will be in craft villages. Um, State Police and the Sheriff's Department and local police are doing an amazing job keeping everything moving. There's really been no problems, everything's, you know, working great, so we're preparing for tomorrow. If it keeps coming in the way it is now and this sort of steady flow, we don't anticipate big delays. We think everything will work very smoothly. So any questions you guys have, we're here. Uh, it's a little hard to come up exactly now because there's tickets distributed throughout the uh, uh, parking areas, etc., etc. But uh, right now we're anticipating opening the festival with something slightly more than 200,000 people on site. Ticket sales, ticket sales are uh, slightly ahead of. Uh, the same place in 94. Um, the one big difference, or one of the big differences from 94 is that anybody that's on their way now and does not have a ticket will be able to buy one, principally at the remote ticket uh, parking lots. Uh, but anybody who comes here will be able to buy a ticket, so I think it's an important thing uh, to get out through the media. Last time that was not the case, this is the case. Um, and we only know if the weather holds, if it's nice, uh, we've, been hope we've always been hopeful about 250,000. We're certainly going to get close. This is uh, certainly going to be one of the biggest concerts in history. Well, our hopes are that people have as good a time this weekend as they did at Socrates and they did in 1969 at Bethel. Uh, but this is a better facility than any place we've been. There is more going on on the site, we have more room, we have a bigger footprint, we've had more time to put it together. Uh, we have an amazing staff, we, I think we built probably the biggest rock and roll venue ever on the planet uh, and probably the most interesting and the best. So we think that this has the potential to be, you know, one of the best things we've ever done and, and be an incredible weekend for everybody who joins us. We have a microphone here for reporters, so I want to hear your questions. One, one, one thing I'd like to add, one of the things that we learned from 94 was that uh, to some degree, we learned that this has to be treated almost, we as producers really have to treat this almost like a resort. We're asking a quarter of a million people to come and spend the weekend with us, so uh, we've designed a number of things other There we go. We've, uh, we've designed a number of things in addition to the two main stages. There's an emerging artist stage, there's the rave for those who like to stay up all night and are more nocturnal than I am. Um, there is the independent film channels, 24 hour a day film festival, there is the sports park, uh, there are a lot of uh, artists uh, displaying their goods here, there are a lot of not for profit booths that some goods political conversation and dialogue can take place, and good sociological dialogue can take place. Uh, this is already very much taking shape of its own city and with all the same kinds of things that have to happen in the city. But one of the things that Michael and his original partners established 30 years ago, we tried to maintain five years ago is that this is a forum in a lot of ways. First and foremost, it's a music festival, but it's also a forum for young people, an opportunity for something to be theirs, for them to have their own what's not. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank you. This, this 1969 festival was called the Woodstock Music and Art Fair. We planned to have art be a very integral part of it. We never really had the time to do it properly. But there is a tremendous amount of art on site this time. 
both art from, from previous Woodstocks and art that was really created by the local community. People, artists, kids, teachers uh, from Rome and Utica and this whole area. And it's unbelievable. It's a four mile, four mile long mural and the, the quality of the work is, is really extraordinary. So if you guys ever get a chance to get to do a, a perimeter run, I think it's definitely worthwhile to show what people can do given the opportunity. For, given the distance between the stages, any advice for people who are here for the music, who want to see want to see all the music? I mean, it's like almost a mile from stage to stage. Start yeah. walking. Yeah. Um, that's true. It's about two thirds of a mile, and in fact, we have over a hundred acts, so you're not going to see everything unless you want to see snatches of everything. But we don't advise people to run around the site too much. I mean, you should take your time getting from stage to stage, plan your days out, get a schedule. Uh, make sure you drink a lot of water, use a lot of sunscreen, it's a very hot weekend. Um, there's a tremendous amount to do, you're not going to run out of things to do, you can go 24 hours a day, we're open all day and all night. Um, so we're encouraging people to just take their time, relax and, and enjoy it. We've got a whole weekend to live through this. Kevin asked, the, the schedule also, uh, there's about 200,000 programs that are being handed out for free which has a schedule in it that's almost right. Um, and it's, it's changing a little bit here and there, but we'll publicize it well. Not only will we let you guys know, but internally we will publicize it from the stage via MCs. We'll uh, put it on the screens. We'll let people know what's going on with plenty of time, what's going on on each stage with plenty of time. Uh, so uh, as, 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 as Michael said, there's lots to do. Um, everything isn't up everybody's alley. And, and the people that are attending it are, are going to find their own space to be able to listen to what they want to say. Do you have an estimate for how many or what percentage of the people you expect to be on the campgrounds during the weekend? Very million. Yeah, I would say probably 70 or 80 percent will be on the campgrounds. I don't think many people are leaving to go to area hotels. There aren't any, um, or very few, and there's certainly none left. Uh, but, you know, to a degree, a lot of people will find their spot in front of the stage and not want to leave it for the weekend, and then uh, some people will go, as I say, into hotels, although not, not many, but, but I'd, I'd say the majority, the vast majority, will be in the campgrounds, and it's a beautiful campground, so it's a very user-friendly place. Have you confirmed the closing act? Yeah. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers are the last official act uh, that are uh, going to close the uh, E stage on Sunday night, and we're still cooking up a little something uh, uh, for the end. It's going to stay a surprise for the time being. A lot of the campers that I talked to mentioned that they feel real safe here, you know, they have nothing to fear. Is that something you really focused on when you were planning that? Is that something you're glad to see that they do feel safe? Yeah, I think that, that we've tried to do that every time we've done this, right from the first one. To make it a place where, where you feel comfortable, you feel at home, you feel you're with friends, you, have, you, know, you don't have anybody to be, it, nothing to be intimidated by, really. Uh, I think that's key to being able to have a very peaceful and, and positive experience, and so that's something we pay a lot of attention to. I think that the kids, kids. are very, very aware, much more than the media may give them credit for, of exactly what they're doing here. You know, they've all seen the movie. Uh, Eight million of them all claim to have been there in '94. Um, so they, they actually know exactly what's expected of them. Uh, those of you that have covered the '94 event, would, you know, time after time, a journalist would come up and say to me, uh, "How is this? They're exactly they're, they're 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 behaving exactly the way we did, or if they're old enough, or the way their parents did." Um, the kids know what this is about, and. and you know, we've come to believe that this is a bit of a rite of passage, so we don't expect anything but a weekend of, uh, of, of peace. What, what time did your, the gates open today? It was the first gate that opened. What time and how come you guys opened a couple hours ahead of schedule? Well, we opened the campgrounds a little bit ahead of schedule. We always planned to be ready. Actually, we were ready yesterday. Uh, just in case people came in any kind of numbers, we didn't want people standing around the parking lot, just, you know, with nothing to do. And, and it's hot out there, it's, it, there's really no reason to prevent people from coming in a little bit early. So we opened, uh, I think it was the, the North Gate first, um, to allow people to come into certain sections of the campgrounds. We opened the venue right on schedule at noon today. Uh, everything went really, you know, it was textbook, it worked beautifully. 
Uh, you listed tonight that uh, George Clinton's having a birthday party over the hangars. Uh, how's that being organized? Uh, what are they doing over there tonight? Uh, it's being organized, all right. Uh, you're all invited to it. It turns out it's George's uh, birthday, and he's decided to uh, reform the original parliament in Uh It's going to happen uh, about 9 or 9.30 tonight. Uh, it's not been publicized uh, to people outside, um, but uh, nobody's going to be able to get here if you guys tell them. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's one of the surprises that, that uh, uh, you know, we've, we've sort of semi-planned. And uh, a lot of people have reported an incredibly uh, influential guy in, in the music world. A lot of artists uh, are coming in early tonight to see it and to participate. by Michael Lang. He's a producer of production. He is Woodstock. Another successful fucking bullshit. Look at that. Alright, shut up. It's great. It's somebody you know? Do you know him? Oh, look, he's gonna get his car to leave. No. Take a picture of his license plate. <laughs> so many cameras around it, they nobody dares yeah. move. Yeah, the media compound's not a good place to hit somebody. <laughs> what kind of car is that? Man, if we had walked over here a minute later. Are you taping it or are we taking a picture of it? Oh! <laughs> Look what I did to this guy's car! Woodstock 99! Guy just backed into this car. <laughs> well, if he don't do the right thing, I'll report him. Right, not. Gary's wasted. Marie's stoned. We're gonna go get a burger off Frank. You've got to be wasted. 7.15. 7.15. 4.15 my time. 4, 4, 7 14 is time for a quaalude. Marie, don't. Would you got to take a shit? Just right next to the car. Oh, yeah, there's a too many people around. Right to it? Yeah, really. Don't break the seal. I had the urge, but it's not there anymore. I already did. I know. That's just split a burger. I broke the seal like you. That was so fun. Yeah, you did do that. That's so weird. Here we are. You want ketchup on yours? At Frank's house. This is where Frank will be sleeping. Oh, this is great. I love that. You got to capture the. Uh, <laughs> You want to catch one yours, dude? Dude, slap whatever you got on there, man. Video. First Woodstock burger. First Woodstock food. Did you have one Yeah, really inside, that would be what, about 550? Serious. You should sell them for four bucks. Why not? Actually. I think we should bring out a 
burger or not? No yeah, thanks. You want a burger, dude? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at this. Dude, always look at this. keep the beer in the shade. Oh my god, can we give him some of our ice? Because we've all got all that extra Yeah, we've got like a. You, need, you need ice, man? Ice. Yeah, can you put ice in your pocket? He's yeah. got ice. Want a hot dog? I want to break out a hot dog for myself. Yeah, man, I want a hot dog. Dude, I'm bootlegging video, man. Don't say anything. Yeah. Let me tell them later. Let's Not see. now. The fake passes. Dude, how many bands do you think are going to come to this press tent and ha say something? Hmm? What? How many people do you think are going to come to that press tent and say, and like talk? Who gives a shit? <laughs> you know, I mean, like. You know, it's, it's so huge out here. It's like, you know, don't, it's like I'm not even going to give a shit. You know, whatever I get, I can get, you know? I'm going in there and fucking staying there. You got plenty of ice, though, right? I got two back. That's going to go quick. Watch your beer over right behind you. Your beer or her beer? You are the, is yours the bottle one? What's that? What's that? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I left on there. Show him the pictures you took, man. All Show him your name. Back except for this one is mine. These are all mine. Show him your name, brother. It's right there on the bottom, dude. Check it out. Bottom line. Well, there's hey, his name. Frank White's at the bottom line. Frank White. White. That's, that's him, awesome. dude. That is fucking You took all these except, except that, that one. Too. And this dude doesn't even look, I've seen him live and he looks a lot fucking darker than that. Maybe because he had a goatee. It's an outdoor, it's an outdoor show, you yeah. know, so It's Ozfest, it rules, man. I, dude, I got videotape of that whole yeah. show, they man. They were great, man. Head P were fucking rock. Who did? Head P rock. You think? Yeah, I, I saw them at the truck, I thought they sucked. And it was fucking awesome. Dude, all the new bands are always looking, you know, for to, to get that, you know, cool edge. They have cool edge. That's, that's a killer picture right there. Mm. Head P.E.? I thought they stunk. I saw them open up for somebody, they stunk. I just didn't like them. They just didn't do anything for me. But you know what? You yeah. know what? Oh shit, right here. That's mine. A lot of these I sold from people too. Do you have any say on how they go in the magazines? Uh, it's up to this line. He's got some garlic heads. Dude, how big's the pit, that's man? The, that's from the outdoor show in Tampa. Outside Tampa. That dude does some garlic shit. How big's the pit to, to tape in? I mean, to, uh, what's to, up to with take what pictures in. Right what, what? Oh, blood vessel. Why is his face always so fucked up, dude? That's the way he likes to be. Yeah, he likes to pose. He, always, dude, he, likes, to, he likes to have... Off that shit. He's weird. the poser, man. He likes, he likes to just, you know, be that way. Yeah, he puts the same guy, and then a cool picture, like two cool pictures, like on, on the back of each other. So, like, I like to pin him up, and it doesn't work. Yeah, I like to pin like, him they up. They got these two, like, gay John Davis ones on them. Like, you yeah, to, you can't. You got two pictures yeah, in one. You put one of these and then the other one. You got to pick out the favorite one. Yeah. I mean, this picture just this kills anything. It's fucking. That's. No, you remind me of my ex-girlfriend a little bit with them glasses on. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that good or bad? That's good. She's a nice. She was a nice girl. <laughs> yeah. Check out that kite, man. It's, just, it's a kamikaze. You want cheese on yours, dude? Oh, geez. Geez, oh wow, bro. that's neat. Metal motherfucker, you're coming over there and partying with us. You pack up your shit and moving over there. You're gonna hang with us, man. That's his magazine. He took all these pictures, Marie. Wow. Wow. Fading. Marie's wasted. The bottom's a little short. But... The video today. Here. Night shot. Here, look through there. Cool. Hi, Steve Terry reporting live from Woodstock 99. Figuring out what we're gonna do tomorrow.
tomorrow, see there's two things. We got this stage right here. This is the west stage right here, which is the west stage will be handling these bands tomorrow. It, everything starts at 12. Tomorrow there's a band playing called Spitfire, Alamanganda, the uh, Embomico Brothers, Mo. Umbilical Brothers. Um, Umbilical Brothers. Mo will be playing at 2.40. Lit will be playing at 3.45. Buck Cherry, what I like to see, will be playing at 4.50. They'll be playing for 45 minutes. Rusted Root will be playing at 5.55 till 6.55. Insane Kyle Posse, which totally sucks. So basically, what I'm saying is this stage, stage totally, totally sucks. The West Stage. Sucks, which is right there. But on Friday, tomorrow morning, what we're going to do is actually, this is what we really want to do. Let's go see James Brown. James Brown the man. James Brown the motherfucker. They started the funk. It's starting tomorrow down at this stage. This is the East Stage. Way down there. Not that you can see that. Yeah, you can't, but... But after that, Sugar Ray will be playing at 1.30 to 2.30. Jamiroquai will be playing from 2.45 to 3.45. From 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, live will be playing. From 5.15 to 6.15, Cheryl Crow will be playing. But in between the sets, I want to come back up here and see... Buck Cherry will be playing at 10.50, 5.50. And then all spring corn will be playing tomorrow night and bush. So tomorrow night's a pretty late night. Besides corn will be kicking some ass. So we'll be hanging out, watching out. This is my set. You gotta write that down on here. What are you doing? I'm just gonna fade it out. Say goodbye, say goodnight. Twenty in August. Yeah, but still. Steve Trey reporting live with a hangover. Woodstock 99. They told you there'd be more people here. Everybody's brushing their teeth. It's the morning brush. Look how he's brushing his teeth, man. It's a fucking miracle. I gotta show grandma the video. But not much is going on in the media. Are you going to leave now and go to the bathroom or what? Yes, Marie. I'll drive you over to the bathroom. No, I just, I can walk over. Why don't you just wait till us drive over? Wait, I just need to go. And to try not to throw beer all over the place, Steve. Jesus Christ, you tr it trash everywhere. It's disgusting. Bitch, 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 bitch. I'm sleeping in the tent by myself tonight. You can sleep in the fucking car. You're great. Yeah, watch me. She thinks I'm fucking kidding. Damn right. I won't even come back to the fucking tent tonight. See how you like that. Where are you going? Where are you doing? Where did you go last night? You fucking bring my mom with me. Fucking went up on stage and hung out with whoever was playing. Walked backstage. Nobody was playing after you left last night. Yes, they fucking were. What do you got in your mind? What little devious little bitch plan you have fuck worked up? Steven, nobody was playing last night when you left. Okay, so I walked off the stage and it's just imagination that somebody no, was playing. Were probably backstage, but they were still playing. Fuck would you know? You fell asleep. Well, if you would tell me instead of being so. Dangerous. I just told you there was somebody playing, and I fucking walked well, up there and watched they? them. I don't know who was playing, but I'm sure as hell walked up there and watched somebody fucking play. Jesus Christ! I actually went over and talked to those guys, and they kicked me out. I guess, you go, dude, man, we got to take care of some business. You got to leave. I was like, say, what are you dealing, drugs? I know they were, they were doing something.
tent. I was like, yo, man, what's up? They were dealing drugs, man. They were up to something. They're like, dude, we got to take care of some business, man. Can you leave? <laughs> he goes, oh, dude, don't take it that way. And I was like, yeah, man, I'll get out of here. Dickheads. Oh, don't be like that. Dude, you're kicking me out of your tent. When was that? Last night? Duh. And here's all the other idiots driving in to the trenches. Notice the traffic. This is only the beginning. Go backstage, man. Break time cafe. This is where we had wonderful breakfast. Now I can drink the rest of the day. Wow. Hey, take my picture. You're the man. <laughs> I got my bucket. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's in the trunk. Do you want to go? Yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. Eat your food. I'm done with that. I just want to... That, did you get Marlboro lights? All right. You're the man. He paid for them too. I'll buy my own fucking pack. What? Why did you buy them? He paid for them too. You always got something to say. Sorry. This is the shit I gotta put up with every fucking day. <laughs> Back up! Don't be an asshole! If she runs into you, it's your fault! Not. She was wrong, she just can't admit it. We gotta go see James Brown. Sugar Ray. We gotta go get our tan spot back. We gotta clean up Gary's puke. He puked twice yesterday. I pissed next to the car. I hear him, I'm waking up, I hear it's like it's raining outside. It's Gary's pissing. And I go, yo, not next to the tent. I'm not pissing next to the tent. Liar. He's in a car. Look, you can smoke in restaurants here. I like this place. Well, let's go. Are we ready? No. Why aren't you ready? Don't smoke that, man. That'll annoy the hell out of me and Marie. It's a nice shirt you got there, dude. You see that shirt? I gave you that shirt. No, I don't want him to smoke because it'll annoy me. All right, well then don't smoke it because it's going to annoy Steve. Take my photo pants back, man. <laughs> Easier if you hold it from here and just turn this on. We don't want beer, do we? We can come up here tomorrow and get some beer. We can eat ice. Oh! <laughs> what? Guess it's totally empty. Yo, what's that, Citizen King? <laughs> making a video in there. No fucking ice. Hey. Well, there's no fucking ice. Oh well. Um, right to the gate for five bucks. Well, where are you gonna put all your shit that you empty out of the car? Put it in the tent. Did you guys hang out at the tent? I mean, Gary drive around and be taxi. We're on a fucking taxi service just to make yes. some bucks. Pay for the rental car. We need to sell those fucking tickets, man. Yeah, we should sell those tickets, man. I should ask. Them. Where's the fade on this dog? Right here. Is it on? Fader, it says. Well, that's it. We're going the wrong way to get ice. We gotta go back that way. Oh, this place right here is that you 50 bucks you don't have ice. Come on, get out of that fucking thing. Oh. Ah. You know, there's a shortage of pennies. 
right now. Did you know that? I was not aware of that. Wow, this place is desolate. Oh, oh. oh. Ding, 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 ding. Ah. Get another one. Oh, this is a parking lot. You gotta go to the right. Let me, I can get it. Can? I have a full fill of our store, I can't get it. It's a hot commodity, man. Thank you. It's a magazine rack, dog. That cost ridiculous price to get it. Three? Three dollars each. Six dollars. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I've got to die something. You're 33. Get the nearest. Get nigger. Get a midget, man. Inbreed motherfuckers live here. Oh, as the week goes on, man, we're gonna have to go farther and farther away to get a heist. That was bullshit. I love a cop that carries a gun. You turn, huh? <laughs> How you guys making out today? Any problems? Oh man, it's supposed to be nice today, though, right? Yeah, nice if you got I like his accent. Yeah, nice if you got All the troopers. Yeah, I think it's just a sound check. Yeah. Walk it out 30 times. The stage we want to go to, East Stage, is where all the bands we want to see. Way over this way. We get tits on this shit. Steve at Woodstock. Hey, no frisbee throw.
Oh, got to get that post. You think so? See if this fits on your camera. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah. Are you using it? Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you know, if I take the lens off, I'm going to be good to go. I won't. You screw it on. Screw it onto that lens. That's Tent City over there. That's what we need is a golf cart. Hold this. I'm missing the adapter. See, I got one in, the, in this bag, actually, to tell you the truth. You want to try it on? We're going to find this adapter. No, it's okay. Picture in there, man. That's the line to get money. From both sides. See, they didn't have that in 1969. <laughs> yeah, everything was free. Give me that wide angle. Here's shades, dude. You need new shades? What is that for? It's for you, babe. What do you have to say about What's Woodstock? That? It's fucking awesome, dude. Is it? You camping out in Tent City? <laughs> yeah. Oh, how far away are you? Right in the corner, right by north fucking entrance. You're right okay. there. So. Will they search you a lot on the way no, in? No, not at all. Cool. You've got everything in it. All right. Have a good time. See, the problem with me, man, is I'm always looking down on the ground looking for money and shit. <laughs> that is a problem. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's walk up this side and we'll head down. Uh. We'll get there. I knew when you were wearing them, you shouldn't have. Oh. Oh, where'd you get that? No, I'm and here. Are they free? Yeah, they're free. Yeah, it's a, yeah. A word? Okay, how they find them? They find them. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Say hi to your mom. What's up? I don't like that new stuff. <laughs> well, they don't have the capacity. See? Every Fuck this, I don't want that. Throw that in the trash. That's a cell site. It's a cell site that supports the area. It's way lower down. There's too many for the clothes up there. Yeah. It's a cell site. 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 It's a cell
they can't they count on the fact that everybody's not going to be using it at the same time. Throw this. Have so much capacity in a certain area, and uh, you know the amount of people that have plus the people here. Steve Terry, really Murray County. Gary Braun reporting to you live from Woodstock 99. So it would just get blocked. Nobody would be able to call out. What did they take from you? Everything? Huh? You gotta get on video. You money. gotta tell us what happened. That's all took our money. Did they break into your hotel or what? No, we were sleeping in the car. Sleeping in the car? something with your dad and these people were making out shit and I turned the channel and your dad's all turn that back man yeah. oh, dude they're only making out Budweiser's making a million Hold that, please. Okay? Uh huh. Hot. Ooh, that sounds good. Keep that shirt on. Keeps it cool. Good four bucks. How much is it? Oh, your mocha latte? Um, four dollars. Buy for double. Wow. How big's a cup? Four dollars. Can you get them hot too? Huh? Oh wait. Do you, you want one? Can't give you hot milk in there though. We're want one or not? Oh yeah, it's okay. Do you want one? Um, I don't know. For five bucks. I have That's five bucks. That's a double. Bucks. You can get a right, like a regular. Shot. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a regular. They're pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what? Um. You didn't see that. I mean, like, yeah, you get that latte flavored or like. Flavored. Oh. Um. Um. I mean, you can get with chocolate syrup or just like espresso. Right. Um. I'll have it with just the latte. 10 to 12, yeah, let's yeah. go. Frozen, the yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. 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 You guys see the schedule? I saw it last night. Where What's are you guys originally located? Are you in Nashville? Baltimore, Maryland? Baltimore, I've been to One World. I don't remember. I, I thought maybe it was in Seattle. Buck Cherry. I want to come back and you want to see Buck Cherry at 4 or 5 o'clock? Oh, okay. Yeah, it depends. He's down here at 12. James Brown, the West Asian. Ben Sugar Ray, Jamiroquai, Live, Sherm Crow, DMX. Okay, we're there. Okay, we're there. Oh, 
Thanks. Thanks. Rip off. See how much are you wearing? Our understanding that we must say the words to the Creator. The ancient words of my language come before all else. This fucking bullshit. These words are rooted in peace. Blah 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 blah. The translation I said is we come together in peace and harmony for one another. Okay. That we must gather our minds and our thoughts and become of one mind. We must give thanksgiving to the Creator. And we have asked the Creator to love us and to cherish us here at Woodstock. Peace in the words of my nephew, Dakota Lua. This is going to be fat, people. Thank you. Dude, man, we already got pictures of this. We'll get Ladies and gentlemen, 30 years ago on a different site, Woodstock started, and it was uh, all from the mind of one man who had a dream, and this is what it turned into. Please welcome Michael Lang. Dude, I met him. Woodstock. Where is he? Done. Michael Lyon, we met Michael Lyon. Like, it's not open all the way. Be good to each other, stay safe, and we'll have a great time together. That's we'll see you. That's cool, we got Michael Lyon.
was a little bit like this. Oh Lord, what did I mean you ain't no saving?
this. We're gonna video when James Brown comes out.
Insane clown posse bus on video. What is this thing? Dude, what's up with the get up, man? Are you in a band? What the hell is that stuff? Is it like chalk? Secret sauce. Oh, you're in a band or what? New innovation. Or what? That's cool, man. You're the man. Looks good, bro. Bam! <laughs> Insane clown posse sucks. Now this is not much, but all this will probably be filled with buses later. Yeah, let's go back up here. Well, I'm sure when they go on stage, like James Brown's supposed to be over 115, I'd like to see him like jump on his bus.
James Brown. I shook his hand. Alright. Oh, she got a picture of his hand. Rolled down his window. I'm like, James, you're the man. I shook his hand. Oh, yeah. First thing, now it's all downhill from now, baby. I heard you yelling. James! Uh -oh. I didn't look at her wave. That's what I wanted. Who's coming up next? Dolly uh, Love. G Love, G Love and Special Sauce. Oh yeah, G Love and Special Sauce is taking the place of Rod. Yeah, yeah they, they, he's sick of sauce. So he says. <laughs> there is no Sugar Ray. Well, the band. The band. Somebody, right, somebody's sick. Yeah. That's not cool. They really wanted to, oh, they really wanted to play. Yeah. You know how to work in soda? Get in the pit for photo? Yeah. 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 Just walked in. You gotta no, do it you, early. You go either either side, but you they won't let you in the middle because they're at the, because people are coming over the uh, wall. So. All right, what are we doing? Yeah. 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 Where's Murray's pills? Well, I don't know where your pills. I'll get you one. Really no, where are they? We're sitting in the car with the AC on, we're styling, smoking reefer. Listening to the concert. Yeah, we're listening to it. Fuck it, we're not going in anymore. What do we do? I met James Brown, you saw that on video. I saw James Brown, we hung out. Um and then we took a shuttle back and that's it, and it is 148. We're gonna go see uh live. Fuck that, we're gonna see Jamiroquai. Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray backed out. Jamiroquai. Uh, Sugar Ray backed out, they're sick. I'm writing in my journal. So later. Thing. You guys need tickets? No. I always say, I'm looking for my little sister. If anybody says anything, like, dude, I gotta find my little sister. I'm just gonna go up here and Nobody's even coming in anymore. I wanna go see, well, then, let's just drive up in here for a little while. All right. Got a big ass plane. You happy? I'm fine. I didn't ask you if you were fine. I'd still like the cops being behind us and you and you Because you can't. I know. I, didn't do anything. I don't want you to do anything, just so you know. What did I do? Nothing. But just don't do anything that's gonna bring attention to us. Please. No. See nobody else is coming in. Yeah, I know, Marie. Let me see how right was I. Let me see. Cheryl Crow, 515. Okay. okay. What time is live coming on? Who? Who is this Live. Four o'clock. Get out. What shit? Let me see some titties. Just a second. Only $10. Which $10? Camera. Go. God, they were stacking in. Field is right here. That piece of shit. Left. What are these people doing? Just go, honey. Walk out the front of the car. Stop. You guys need any tickets? Yep, we do. Huh? What do you got? How far you gotta go? We don't have any room. Sorry. Oh, they want to ride. 
Take off and gun it. This is the wall that we're going to get. Tent City right in there. Yo, you need any tickets? Michael Jordan could scale that wall. Excuse me, my friend. Is it okay if we go straight? We have a few things to drop off at a vendor. Thank you very much. People aren't watching, Steve. I just want to make sure I get slow enough. They don't run hard to run them over. I want to look at it, man. I want to check it out. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. We're seeing the newest fashion statement. Come up from Tampa. Tampa, Florida. You ever had this done before? No. Oh, how's it feel? Pretty good. Free. It's like, oh, my shirt. Johnson Ross, got to be cool. You're wearing a bikini top. Yeah. So now let's get into it. You, you've obviously walked around a little bit with it. Our guys just, you know, falling down, bumping in each other. Let's take a few pictures here and there. That's about it. Mind if we take one now for the website? All right. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. And uh, is this your boyfriend over here? Oh, come here. We gotta hear what you say about this. So you're out here at Woodstock '99. Your girl just drops her top and gets her boobs painted to walk around so the whole world can see. And uh, where's the is that second right? stage, guys? Oh, you don't mind sharing? Nobody. No. All right. Yeah. No touch. Right, let's all go up right. here around well, this car. Hey, let's go up that time way. here this weekend. Right. And if you get some new colors tomorrow. Or later today, hey, make sure you come back and show us, all right? Wow, it's they are obviously we'll, we'll go 99. behind them. Then. Boobstock 99, Rome, New York, on 96.9 WOUR. Good afternoon, madam. I'm your butler, G. Oh, oh dear. You must yeah, be now nice. you're fucking oh, you got to get in there. Oh. I reside at ask.com. Fucking asshole. You see that? Look, look. I find the answer. You just fucking sat there until I made a move. Are you going to move some mustard stain? Absolutely. How I can invest in technology stocks? Without delay. Well, come right in, ma'am. Come right in for some evidence. A gracious offer, but I must get back to the internet. Got a question? Go straight to G's at ask.com. I want to go past behind this guy sometime today. Well, I gotta watch out for these people. The dictionary defines tradition as way, yeah. the handing down of custom from the past. Lee Pontiac in Blueville oh, has handed down the custom of the customer comes first for three generations. Dick Lee has served his community with fine products like Pontiac and GMC trucks. And remember, what do you think of that sound right there? Walk in front of the gate. 
So they park here and then they go park and then they go camp in the field. What, where the field? Is that field back there? Up there. Guys got balloons out. Business or pleasure? Coach or first class? Window or aisle? Coffee or tea? Beer or Michelin? It's in my way. One week. Want to get a balloon, dude? Yeah. yeah, man, blooms. Want to hang in Hawaii courtesy of Naya Springwater and the hit video, The Water Boy? We're giving away a trip for four to an all-star pro You can beep the horn, that's all. It's like, doo -doo. The Water Boy doo -doo. in Hawaii with pro football stars, along with over 10,000 other great prizes. See specially labeled Naya Springwater bottles for details. Hungry for life, thirsty for Naya. Good July 1st through October 31st, 1999. No hey, pull over right in here, then. If I can't see any tents, it's the fuck around. Dude, man, where's the tent city at? Inside. The tents back that way? They're inside and they're fucking everywhere. I mean, uh, like, turn around here. I don't want to fucking feel these assholes parking. Just stop right here for a second. And jump in this guy's truck. Yo, is this your truck, man? How much your beers? Uh. Quick, hurry up, sell me one for my girlfriend come. Alright. Uh. How much are they too? Yeah. Thanks, my brother. Thank you. See you in a bit. Look at your car, man. It's all sticking out. Dude, we definitely got the coolest car. What did you just buy from that guy? Crack. Steve. Seriously, a beer? How much? Two bucks. Can you pour it into a cup, please? Yeah, there's a cup in your knapsack. Yeah, I don't know where that is. It'll be okay, honey. Yeah, I'm driving, Steve. You're not drunk, so... So, I have an out. open container with a 19-year-old drinking it. I care. Just finish the goddamn thing before we leave here. Marie, it's one big party. You're not going to get hassled well, by anybody. Well, I might Believe get pulled me. over, Steven, and I don't want to deal with it. The real world is next Friday, 9 Yo, what do you guys think? Hey, what's up? That, what the hell was that? <laughs> Somebody's something. Fucking brain. Pull next to these guys. 
Hey man, what do you guys think of Woodstock so far? Hey buddy, what's up? We got partying, yeah! With the burning flame in your eye. Well, don't crash into my friends. Away, no. you guys don't crash into my friends. You guys walk. YSP, we're from Philly, man. Philly, YSP, we want to ten inches. Where's Man Huggy? I don't know. Man Huggy in there. We got him in the trunk. <laughs> we're staring at. Got him in the yeah, trunk. Yeah, where the fuck can he switch? Get out. Get out. Get away. That's from Wisconsin Harper. Cool. Yo, where are you guys from? 